Hey guys, Kyle Wolf here at AOMC. Today we're looking at the Vortex ECU box, uh, you know, in association with Tokyo Mods. This is a replacement for the ECU, the OEM ECU on your machine. And uh, what this does is this is allows this allows more power and uh, more power ranges to your motorcycle. And you know, the main part, you know, the main feature of this of this uh, ECU box is you can. You know, it comes preset with 10 programs and you see multiple dials on here, but it comes with 10 preset programs on here. So you can change up the preset based on your uh, track condition, whether it's loam, sand, hard pack, uh, you know, maybe a faster track, slower track. You can program uh, just with a turn of a screwdriver. Not only that, but when you select your, your mapping, this also has, you know, this is for, you know, the, the ignition mapping but it also has fuel mapping and that's what these three dials are here right you know are for right here this is for low mid high so you know once you get your preset figured out and there's also you know since i'm getting into that there's also a chart here that comes with the ecu that has all the different preset settings for your machine um, so you know it has one for uh you know your standard one one for enduro type settings one for sand you know so all the uh all the presets are described in with the, uh, you know, in with the ECU comes with a chart. So you know, once you get your preset where you want it to, you can also adjust the fuel delivery for low range power or you know, low end power, mid range power, and then high end power, you know, top end. So you can mix it up. You can uh, get it programmed just right for optimum power, as well as uh, you know, fuel consumption. You know, maybe less fuel on uh, certain ranges in the RPMs. So it just makes it makes it really nice and you know mainly just more power and more usable power, more manageable power. So you can kind of get it exactly to where you want to. You just take out the ECU from underneath the seat uh, on your motorcycle and just plug it in with the uh, existing wiring harness. So it's real simple. You don't have to do anything fancy. You just take the old one out, plug the new one in, and you're good to go. Not only that, but it's uh, this is designed to go in with all this the sensors. Um, on the motorcycle, the, the, throttle the throttle position sensor, the crank position sensor, water temperature, everything like that, all the, all the sensors that are in the, uh, you know, in, with the CDI box, these, uh, these can read it. So if you have any kind of issues, it'll tell you, which makes it really nice. And then for, uh, you can do this if you want to, this is an optional with this Tokyo Mods switch right here. There's map one at the bottom and then map X10. So when you have it in map X10, it goes to whichever position this thing, this, the motorcycle runs on whatever position you have on the ignition timing on the ECU. So if you have it on position three, once you throw the switch into X10, it's gonna run with position three. If you switch to map one, it's gonna run on position one. So if you wanna do that, you can, you know, a lot of, you know, when uh, Tokyo Mods and Vortex and uh, other ignition companies started coming out with ignitions or, uh, you know, reprogrammable ignitions for the ECU and the CDIs back in the day, um, you know, pre-four-stroke days with the two-strokes, a, uh, a lot of guys, a lot of race teams would have the, uh, would have the switch on. And what it was, they would uh, have a position, have a programming for the start, you know, for motocross. And then once they get into that first corner, they'd flip the switch. So they'd put a lot of power in for the starting, for the start line, as soon as the gate dropped, they'd have all the power they'd want. And then as soon as they got to the first turn, they shut everything down, they'd flip the switch so they'd have the power that they want to use for the rest of the track. So you can do that with this, you know, especially if you have, you know, a non-Japanese bike, um, you know, without, without the uh, map switch that comes with the machines like a Husqvarna or a KTM, you can do that. But if you want to add the switch, yeah, more, most most of the time, guys don't do that. They'll just leave it. Uh, they'll just leave it in the position that they want out of this ECU. So you know, more power, more usable power. You know, it's ten programs. You can change the fuel mapping however you want to. You know, so you can get better fuel consumption if you need to. Lean it up. You know, lean it out, richen up the fuel consumption. Just uh, gives you a lot of options instead of just the OEM. You know, the the manufacturer's ECU box just giving you basically one option more or less so this has 10 pre pre-programmed 
um, you know, settings in it. Do it any way you want to, any track condition. This is the Vortex Ignition ECU in association with Tokyo Mods. Once again, you, this, is a, this is an option. The Tokyo Mod switch is an option. Just uh, more options for your motorcycle. You can find more items like these, any other great products, parts, and accessories at aomc.mx.